In this video, I'm going to show you how I created this chatbot in 45 minutes with ChatGPT. That's right, it only took me 45 minutes total. I'll show you the exact steps I took to do it, including the ChatGPT prompts I used and some of the edits that I made. The technologies used were mainly the ChatGPT API, Node.js, Express, and Socket.io. But to be honest, I don't know much about these technologies and because of ChatGPT, I didn't need to. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video because ChatGPT did one of the craziest things I've ever seen in programming. It's a trick that I will continue to use over and over again. All right, let's get started. So the prompt here is create a simple Node.js chatbot with the UI. And we can see ChatGPT just gets started right away. And first thing we want to do is install Express, Socket, and Body Parser. And those are just libraries that we'll be using. So now we copy app.js into a file called app.js. Same with index.html. Okay, there's index.html. And now we can run our server, node app.js, and here it is. So you can see that it has a little input box and you can click send, but it doesn't quite do anything yet. So ChatGPT didn't really just solve the whole problem for us right away. And so here we can see how the app is working. So we're using Express with Node.js. And we can see if we go to the slash endpoint, it's going to render the index.html file. And we're using Socket.io for the chat. And basically, that's a way of getting input using a web socket. So we don't need to do any kind of polling or anything like that. And now we want to make the chatbot respond to messages. And so ChatGPT does that for us, of course. And all we do is just literally copy the code that ChatGPT gave us and paste it in there. And now we can see that it kind of is responding to what we said. It's just saying, you said with our message, but we need to improve it more. So now I've gotten the API key from OpenAI for ChatGPT, and we're gonna tell ChatGPT to integrate it with the API. And so it's just gonna do this for us. And we can take that code and just paste it in here. And we really just need the process message portion of the code. And by the way, don't try to use this API key because I've already disabled it. Okay, now we're updating the process message function here. And boom, there it is with the new code. And I'm just going to take my API key and put it in there. Okay, so we have our API key. And this is basically how ChatGPT told us to call its API. Now I did a lot of debugging after this and found that there were some issues. So I needed to go to the actual Node.js client for the OpenAI APIs. And I did a lot of debugging here and a lot of trial and error. So I actually cut this video quite a bit just to make it clearer. Now you can see that it's returning an object object and it's not actually returning the text from the API. So I'm debugging here to see exactly what's going on. And I found out that the way that ChatGPT gave me the way to call the API was a little bit off. So I found the correct documentation and the way to do it is to do openai.createcompletion. And I'm tinkering around a bit here and trying to get the exact text from the completion that is returned. And you can see that now we have some text actually being returned, although it's not showing up in the UI. So doing a bit more debugging here, realize need to add the await and there we go. So now it is actually returning the correct text and we can see that the chatbot is responding to us. Now, the issue is that it's not displaying both the user's input and the chatbot's output as dialogue. So this is what I asked ChatGPT to modify for us. And actually in this case, it didn't do the best job. The modification didn't really work quite as well as I wanted it to. And you could see me tinkering around a little bit. And so I asked it instead to modify the original index.html to display both the user's input and the chatbot's output. And this got actually a much better response. And still, it wasn't quite satisfactory. So you can see me here actually updating the code myself, doing a bit of logic here. So the idea here is we want to take the input and append it to our messages div. And so I'm actually going to store message as its own variable, append it to the messages, and also emit it using socket. 
And of course, now we run into another issue and the API still isn't working properly. So you see me here going back to the documentation and pasting in the correct way of calling the API with error handling. And so basically it returns completion data choices, the first one dot text. And we also need to return in the error case if something happens, please try again or something similar. Now we restart the app. And there we go, we have a working basic MVP product here. We can see that we can talk to the chatbot and it's actually responding to us and it's generating some output. Now, actually, I realize there is one bug here and it's not really responding to us. It's just responding to the same prompt over and over and over again. And the reason for that is that I'm not passing in the message correctly from process message. I was always passing in hello world. So I fixed that, restarted the app, and now finally it's going to respond to what we're actually saying. And it even outputs code here. So this is me being pretty amazed, like, wow, it's actually working really well. And the other issue was that it wasn't using ChatGPT, the model, it was using DaVinci as the model. So I realized that and I looked up all the models that OpenAI has and I changed it to use ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo. The problem with doing that is that the way to use the app is actually different. The way to use the API is actually different. It's not creating a completion. You have to create a chat completion. It took me a while to figure that out, but I finally figured it out and I figured out that this is the syntax that you need to call the API. And of course, the response from the API is also a little bit different. So we can't just use the response that we were using before. We have to do some different syntax and get the response in a little bit of a different way. So this is me debugging a little bit, figuring that out. And the main difference is that the response has what is called a message. And inside the message, there is content. So you can see that now I'm getting the message off of the response and then I'm getting the content off of the message and returning that instead. And that should work and give us our correct response to the user. So just need to restart the app one more time and voila, it's working really well with now ChatGPT as the model instead of DaVinci and we're getting much better results here. Now at this point, I'm just playing around with the app because I'm so amazed that I was able to do this in about 35 to 40 minutes. And this is one of the coolest things now. I tell ChatGPT to make the file that I have for the index nicer looking. And I just copy paste the whole file in and ChatGPT outputs the file formatted better with correct, well not correct, but much better looking CSS and literally all I do is copy paste that HTML file again, and it looks so much better. And I didn't have to do any design myself. This to me was so incredible that I was just flabbergasted for lack of a better word. I literally just copy pasted the index HTML file into ChatGPT, and it gave me this design here. It's one of the coolest things I've ever seen and it just blew my mind. So there you have it. We created our own chatbot using ChatGPT and ChatGPT's API. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and a subscribe because it really helps the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you next time.